Let's check in on the roads because that is a key concern, well certainly has been this whole weekend. Rob, I can't imagine what you've been seeing on all your different satellites and all the maps that have been coming your way and the people reaching out to you. It was a desperate situation at one stage, wasn't it, when we talk about what was going on on the N3? Yeah, completely desperately. And I thought what we'd do this morning, I mean, we've all seen the videos, we've all seen the pictures across the weekend. I thought what we'd do is just take a moment to recap the advice that we uh, provided uh, when we were here on Friday. And I thought, this is quite interesting. Friday morning, we were saying, look, there's an alert for N3, snow, sleet, black ice, all possible from this morning. So that was from Friday morning uh, into Saturday. And that's exactly when it came, overnight Friday into Saturday, uh, between Harry Smith and Lady Smith. So that was spot on. There were these weather warnings issued by South African Weather Services about this weather. They were warning you, the traffic side was warning you, and we said they're check conditions before travel. So it, hopefully, you know, when we come on and we give you these traffic updates, you know, you take them serious. You take them in the way that uh, they are meant to be. The hardest thing that we discovered over the weekend is when there is a warning of snow is to work out just how much snow is going to fall. And I can tell you the amount of snow that fall, I think, uh, caught absolutely everybody by surprise. Hopefully you took advice of that or you took note of that advice on Friday and you held back from traveling and you were able to sort of get some alternative routes through Saturday, Sunday and uh, and uh, and avoid that. But absolutely a desperate scenes uh, with, with the, just the heaviness of that snow and and the trapping of those uh, motorists and, uh, and trucks uh, around Van Rinnen's Pass. At one stage, the backlog into the obstruction of snow was uh, 30 kilometres. The road reopened at quarter past seven last night, and uh, all lanes and all roads uh, through the area are open this morning. So that's just a note that we've got from the uh, from government saying all roads are open. Uh, motorists advised to adhere to rules of the roads and be cautious. Some of the roads may still be slippery. There's a terrific amount of snow. And we saw that one of the alternative routes, and this is interesting because it's a route that's often talked about what condition it's in. Uh, this was yesterday driving the R74 Olivier's Hook down through Little Switzerland uh, from Harry Smith down towards the uh, the Bergville side, Olivier's Hook Pass, a road that's been really badly um, uh, sort of potholed and damaged over many years, but it looks pretty good. And a lot of motorists that were diverting that way yesterday were enjoying a good road and were enjoying some beautiful scenery. As you can see, just how much snow fell in that park. Look at that snow, just absolutely beautiful. If you're on that road yesterday, you really would have uh, enjoyed those uh, those views. All right, just from there, uh, it's pretty quiet uh, Monday morning. We're squeezed between a weekend and the public holiday. Just want to remind you about this, though, the R27, the West Coast Road uh, north of Cape Town, still closed for emergency repair works between Feldrift and Friedenberg. So if you're on that sort of West Coast, you'll come off that road into Friedenberg and pop out the other side back to Feldrift. And you do that both ways. It's a full closure.